We're about to uh, invite our partners to come forward. I want to show you, we wish we could invite all of our partners to share as well, but we would be here until dinner time, and I realize we need to move on shortly. So uh, we'll be doing that. I want to just say one more thank you that uh, I want to make sure we draw a special um, notice to, uh, and that is that the person who is the hero of faith in the Rhode Island State Council of Churches every single day is in and week out, uh, and a person who really put all the logistics together to help us wear against the Lord's table. Slogan. We say, do one thing, 
that may be possible even under the most tenuous of circumstances. And gas is our partner of faith, whose one thing out of many is to look for all those among us who are aging and in need of love and care. And gas. Next, I'm going to bring up two people from the Central Congregational Church. As Reverend Anderson had mentioned, um, William Claflin did not get listed in this bulletin, but we have apologized profusely and let him know that it is by no means any lack of importance to him. So I'm going to invite William Claflin and Mary Hazelton to come up. And they will be a special Reverend Rebecca Spencer. What I can tell you is that William is a pillar of his church. He grew up there and he is deeply respected and he is a wealth of information and knowledgeable of the many procedures of the United Church of Christ at, Con at Central Convocation. Mary was born into a missionary family in China and has done many works at Central Congregational Church as well. Our next partner of faith is Dr. Cho S. Lee, and he will be escorted by Reverend Yuk Sun Wu. Dr. Lee has a passion for ministry of stewardship in both the congregation and the community. He has been active in helping Zion Congregation fulfill its mission to the community and to the world by supervising and maintaining church facilities and engaging community care with enthusiasm, joy, and commitment. Partners of Faith are Donald Pratt and Annette Kirby. 
that you will be escorted by Gail Wegman. Donna and Annette bring double measures of love and respect to everything they do, everyone they meet. They work together for Georgiaville Baptist Church, Thunderness Health Center, and within the American Baptist denomination and our larger modern community. These sisters in Christ have faithfully served in many leadership positions. Our next partner in faith is Marilyn Washington. And Marilyn will be escorted by Matt Kerr. Soon after moving to Providence as a child, Marilyn Washington joined the Neficent Congregation of Church, which was pastored by Reverend Dr. Arthur Wilson. And in her 59 years of membership, her ministry has included Sacred Dance, the Deacon's Board, the School Committee, the Pastoral Search Committee, and she has served as moderator. Marilyn has a gift of hospitality, and her greatest desire is to serve people good old-fashioned soul food for their bodies and their spirits. Marilyn has said, I would like to be the matriarch that passes out love and hugs all year and be the minister of hugs. Marilyn has a large extended family that shares her passion for Christian service. singer, arranger, and composer. At a very early age, Delver exhibited great musical talent. His talents were nurtured and developed by his maternal grandfather's Baptist church and in the Tulsa public school system. Delver is the writer of our hymn that we will be singing momentarily, Oaks of Righteousness. 